Okay, uh, detecting nice view with the e track and a pretty knackered up sunray probe. And just dug this, which is a crotal belt. So that's a good indication of age, obviously. Clean it up, show it later. Pretty good. Okay, uh, you join me live. <laughs> uh, it was a 47 signal on the E-Track. So I thought it could be silver. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. I just used two tone. But in this case it was. We will reveal, I don't even know what it is myself. Okay, it's not so old. 1915 shilling, George V. There's his head. And that is 100% silver. Join the war, obviously. First World War. So, decent find. Not far down. Okay, uh, come to my... Uh, Try and find the rest of it. <laughs> Just a quick round up. Uh, this is two hunts, uh, about five or six hours in total. So it's crappy lead. I, think, I don't know what that is, but I found quite a few. That's off a buckle. Got really fed up of fed up of those. Shrapnel, old bottle top, it's quite a long uh, pronged fork, things that they use on the cow's ears, could have been interesting. Uh, a scrap copper. The oldest, but uh, nothing on it. More lead goes on a cow's ear for identification. Uh, buttons. Oh, these get my nerves. Bailing tag things really got my nerves. A bit of pottery. Crotal bell that hung from a cow's or a horse's uh, when they dangled, kind of thing, made noise in fates and stuff, festivals. Anyhow, it's knackered. Something with a number on. Kind of like old key, but broken. Old piece of Silver 1915 George V and my best find which let's try and get some decent light on this and 
any chance of an ID on this would be really appreciated. Hope you can see that. That's the cat's noise. So not much, but fun. I just noticed that buckle's got, that button's got a design on it. Anyhow, still rubbish. Take it easy.